Hi, so it's that time again. Avid releases Pro Tools 2018.10. I'm over at Pro Tools Experts website. They have a breakdown of what's new, what bugs they fixed. Now this release seems like they're fixing a lot of bugs, which is a good thing. I prefer bug fixes than new features. Also, if you're a Mac user and you're waiting on Avid to support the latest operating system, seems like they haven't done that yet. So that's kind of disappointing. So now we scroll down to bug fixes. You have Atmos workflow, control surfaces, crashes and errors. You have some live sounds, bug fixes, synchronization, miscellaneous. So as you can see, they fixed a lot of things. So this new update is mostly focused on fixing some of the bugs, which is fantastic. As I said earlier, I prefer bug fixes than new features. What's the point of having some new features if you still have all these random crashes and all of that stuff? So like I always tell you guys, if you're in the middle of mixing, recording, anything like that, don't upgrade. If you want to upgrade, image your drive. If they fix something that you definitely need, then just image your drive and give it a shot. So here's what I want you to do. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. If you want to discuss anything in this video, post in the bottom. Let's talk about it. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later, guys.